Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Tuesday evening. Let's take a moment to calm our hearts and our minds from the day that we've had. It might have been a really busy day, whatever kind of day we've had. Let's just refocus and concentrate our minds on our Heavenly Father, even if it is just for the next 10 minutes. So let's take that time now. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit, in Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus my King, O Jesus do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, Bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. I will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin, nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light, O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight, O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight, O God of life this night. Tonight I'm reading Luke 24 verse 32. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn with us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? Two of Jesus' followers were walking to a village called Emmaus, talking about all that had happened over the past three days. The death of Jesus and the reports of his resurrection. Then Jesus himself came up beside them and joined the conversation. Yet these disciples didn't recognise him. He explained the scriptures in a new way that touched their hearts, ministering to them through his presence and restoring their hope through his word. How often do we feel to recognise Jesus ministering to us in our pain. Whatever your situation, keep your eyes open to the presence of Jesus and your heart open to receive hope through his word. Let's spend some time in prayer. Father, we bring ourselves to you tonight. The real us, not the us we share with the rest of the world. And Father, we recognise that you love us for who we are. 
in spite of the things that we do and we say and we don't do and we don't say. Father, thank you for that acceptance that we find in you. Father, we continue to pray for the world that is still ravaged by coronavirus. And we know that in England we have a lot to celebrate, the vaccination programme and the ease of lockdown and being able to hug people by next Monday. Father, we rejoice and we are thankful, but Father, help us not to forget that this is not the same picture in the rest of the world. Help us to pray earnestly for those people who are still struggling with coronavirus. Where the deaths are so high, it's unimaginable and unbearable. Father, help us to continue each and every day to hold those people up to you who are struggling so much. Father, we ask that your mercy and your grace and your love and your peace will be with them. And Father, we pray that one day soon we'll be able to say, gosh, that was a really tough year and we learned so much about ourselves and about other people. We learned what was important. And we learnt lessons that will allow, allow us to live better lives and be better people. And as we remember who you are tonight, Lord, our Father, our Lord, our Brother, our King. Father, we thank you for all that you are to us. And remembering that, let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you again, as always, for joining me wherever you are, whichever time zone you're in, whichever country you're in. I pray that God will bless you and give you an amazing rest and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.